I'm going to use Microsoft Excel 2007 to create a Gantt chart, a popular project management tool. So I'm going to start off just by labeling. Then I'll create some sections here for uh, the various columns of data that I'm going to have. My project will be made up of multiple tasks. Each task will have a particular start date. Each task will have a duration measured in days. And each task will then, of course, have an end date. I will have several tasks. And I'll go ahead and key in some start dates. and several durations. And then I'll have end dates get calculated. There we go. So I've got a project now made up of eight tasks. There's various start dates. Each task has various duration, and of course the end date is calculated. Now Excel doesn't have a built-in way to create a Gantt chart, so I'm going to use a stacked bar chart and modify it to create a Gantt chart. So I've got my data now. I'm going to start off by inserting a chart. So in Excel 2007, I'll simply go to the Insert tab, and I want to insert a bar chart. And in particular, I'm going to choose the stacked bar chart. Now my chart is currently blank because I didn't select any data first. So now I need to right click and select some data. Now with the select data screen I'm going to add some series. So I will add the first series. The series name will be the cell containing the label start date. The series value will be the range of cells containing the various start dates. I'm going to add a new series. This series will be duration, and the series value will be the various days of duration. And I will also edit my labels here. So I'll edit, access label range, will be the various task names. And then OK. So this is the start of my Gantt chart. Not quite there yet, though. Uh, first thing, I'll go ahead and click on my legend and delete that. No need to have a legend for this particular kind of chart. And I'm going to modify the series making up the blue bars here. I don't want to see any of them, so I'm going to right click on any of them and I'll format data series and for fill I'll choose no fill for border color no line and click close so now the start dates are gone but the durations are still visible this is more like a Gantt chart next I want to reverse the order of my labels here so I'll right click on any one of them format axes choose categories in reverse order and then close. Alright, now we're getting a little bit better. My tasks are in order, task 1 through task 8, and I can see the various durations. I can now tell when some tasks overlap, for instance task 4 and task 5 overlap each other, whereas task 4 starts, it looks like starts after task 3. Now to get a better view of these, I want to adjust my date range up here too. Now before I go and adjust my date range, I'm going to show you a little bit about how Excel interprets dates. But dates in Excel are simply a numeric value formatted to look like dates. So we like to see dates in this particular format, month, day, year. But Excel sees them as numbers. So if I were to select all of my dates here and convert them into a comma style, I can see that the date 
August 1st, 2007 to us is really the numeric value 39,295 to Excel. So dates are numeric values. Now to get these back I'll simply undo and they're back to the format of the date. So I see that my first project really starts on August 1st so I'm curious what the numeric value is for July 28th 07 and I see that my last project or my last task ends around September 15th so I'm curious what 9-18-07 happens to be. So I'm, this is the start date that I'd like to have for my chart and this is the end date I'd like to have for my chart. So I'll select both of these and I'll convert them into a comma style. 39,291, 39,343. Fantastic. So I'll right click on any of my dates up here on my working in progress Gantt chart. Format the axes. Now my minimum will be 39,291. My maximum will be 39,343. And I'm getting these dates, or these numbers that represent the dates that I really want to be the minimum and maximum for my range. I'll close that out. And now I have a little bit more easy to read range here. So I've got my dates, and I've got my Gantt chart. I'll do one little quick formatting here with the dates. Right click, format axes, number, date format. I'll just go to a month day since the year doesn't really help me so much and close. There. So now I have a Gantt chart. It's a project management tool so I can clearly see when various tasks begin and end. I can see when tasks overlap. 